top of North Pole again. We were up here about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Did some tests and got some very concerning results, <clears throat> namely a bunch of column tests that failed on isolation. On some facets on top of this crust layer near the ground, um, in the past two weeks or a week and a half since we were up here last, um, we've had that clear and cold weather for about a w solid week. And that <clears throat> weekend, this basal crust layer, um, when I was up here before, uh, I could barely penetrate that with my probe. Actually, I couldn't penetrate it at all with my probe. Now I'm barely able to shovel through it. So that high pressure, clear and cold, definitely weakened it. Um, and the facets on top of it have grown. However, in the meantime, the stability seems to have improved. I've just done two extended column tests. Um, basically, what we're worried about now is failures in newer snow um, closer to the surface, which I didn't test last time, or which didn't get tested last time because uh, the columns failed on isolation um, at that <coughs> basal crust layer. So today it took um, CT20, so 20 taps to get that layer to fail, and then CT14, so quite a difference from failing on isolation. Um, however, up higher in the snowpack, or closer to the surface in the snowpack, there's a bunch of density changes, um, likely from wind and temperature fluctuations as we got new snow. And that's where we're seeing um, new touchy instabilities, namely easy shovel shear um, failures and easy column test failures, um, about six centimeters and 11 centimeters from the surface. They're actually six centimeters and 20 centimeters from the surface is where we're seeing these failures now, and they're all pretty easy to initiate. However, looking here at the top of North Pole, I've skied two lines down the steepest section without incident, so that says something a little bit too. However, the snowpack is so variable right now, as you can see. There is nice, good coverage up top for maybe six to 800 feet, and then things get punchy and quite variable. There you have it.